A theme park management tycoon game with an aquatic twist. Design your displays, look after your fish, manage your staff, and keep your guests happy. It's all in day's work as the curator of your own mega aquarium. So, so says Twitch. Uh, all reviews, very positive, and the release date was the 13th of September. So yeah, I'm, I'm a week late in getting like the maximum viewage for this, but that's okay. Um, so yes, all I've done is I played the first aquarium, which is sort of tutorial, uh, tells you how to place things down and whatnot. And then we're going to jump into Northwoods. I'm going to keep it on normal difficulty over here because we're still learning fine. Uh, establish your name by refurbishing this old aquarium. Let's get in here. Is there an age aquarium for this? Two point hospital for fish? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's all these crossovers, all these tycoony kind of games. Welcome to Northwood. Also, let me know if the volume's, you know, too loud, too quiet, whatever, once we get started. You've been tasked with refurbishing this old aquarium. It already has several tanks, some decorations, and even a couple of surviving fish. The fact that they had to specify surviving fish tells me that not everything has gone great at this aquarium. The aquarium has a healthy source of ecology points, but these only unlock new animals. To unlock other things, we need science points. Science points are used to unlock new pieces of equipment, tanks, and facilities for guests. Both types of points are crucial to running a successful aquarium. Make sure you have an adequate supply of both. All right. So, our aquarium is currently closed. Okay, we can open it whenever we want, but we're gonna take a look at just a second. Science! Uh, we're gonna go full Heimerdinger on this. So here's the UI, nice sort of flat, clean UI. Um, tool tips on most things. Uh, these are like various overlays that we can toggle on and off to get some information about our, our aquarium here as we get started. We've got our sort of quest area over here. We don't talk about the other fish. Oh. So right now our mission is to restock. Um, we need to have a combined 40 points of science across all our animals. We have to build a tool station. We have to hire at least one staff and then we have to open our aquarium for this first step. So we can, uh, we can move around like this. We can rotate the camera in a variety of different directions. Like it's cool because it's got this sort of isometric view but it's not, you know, it's not actually locked to anything like that. So here's our cute little aquarium building. We can expand this. We can buy more floor space and everything. Uh, over here, we've got our entrance. I don't know if we, how you can rename. So people were saying you could rename things. Um, I mean, officially, this is gonna be the uh, Belgian National Aquarium uh, as per requests. So we've got an aquarium over here. This is tank number two. Oop, that lets me move the tank. Hang on, there we go. Uh, can I click on the fish? There you go, we got some half and halves, half and half chromies. I don't, oh, oh, it's a, it's sort of a gripper. That's what that icon is. I thought it was a little house. I don't think we can rename the fish or anything, unfortunately. That is sad and tragic. So it's got some decoration in here and whatnot. Okay, so if we come out here, we will get um, hints as to potential problems. For example, this tank here has poor fish or uh, water quality. The fish in this tank require quality water at least 60, and it's currently sitting at 57. Um, it does, we do have this com this filter over here, which provides combined filters, so it's both water quality and heating, but it's clearly not doing enough. So we're gonna go and we're gonna add an extra filter, probably just the basic filter is gonna be fine, as opposed to the powered one, which is twice as expensive. It does do um, twice as much water quality. Uh, but the basic filter is also more reliable. So I'm gonna go and you know, we can drop it sort of anywhere But it's got to be adjacent to a tank to do stuff. So I think we're gonna go ahead and drop it right over here Like so Oh, but then I can't access the back thing now. Oh, this is set up to just be a staff room. I see Staff door so only the staff can get back here where the fish food is and whatnot And I guess right viewers the visitors are gonna be able to see it from the outside over there So I was worried about blocking some view with some viewing space But so we'll just move the filter over here and now that should be okay. Now the other pop-ups here are just that the fish are waiting to be fed. Some fish want orange pellets, some fish want green pellets. Double click the names. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we can't rename the tanks. And the fish. Oh my God. I mean, that would be a lot of renaming. Cause you're gonna have a lot of fish around. Maybe we can just name the tanks. Naming all the fish, honestly, if you've ever had an aquarium, naming the fish is just like the route to sadness. Um, especially aquariums filled with like a lot of little fish. Some are always gonna get sick and die. It's just gonna be the way that it is. Um, Submurder incoming. <laughs> oh, and whiskey and chocolate from Banana Cabana. Let me load that up in a second. 
Um, who doesn't want a fish named after? Yeah, we're gonna spend all our time just naming fish if we do that. We got Banana Cabana coming in here. Uh, cheers, Quill. Just got a big payday. Nice. I was wondering. I uh, haven't seen you wearing any hats lately. Uh, don't you have some sort of fish hat? I don't actually have a fish hat. And part of it is I moved stuff around for this new desk, so I don't have my hats next to me anymore. We're, um, I'm not sure what we're gonna have to do. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna have, um, so people have, like, you know, these aquariums, they have, like, um, don't, like, donators and, and people like that that get naming rights. So, for example, this tank over here will be the Banana Cabana tank. Well, we'll vary a few names as we go, but let's, let's go ahead and, and at least get things started in playing here. We got some decorative barrels. Okay. Any benches for people to sit at? Not right now. We might want to go and add um, just some benches so that our people, you know, our visitors could be a little bit more comfortable. They are double wide, so they're a little awkward to place. Maybe over here. There we go. Actually, I guess we could put one, like, sort of in the middle over here so that people can sit and look at the tank. Maybe a little bit further away so that there's, there's movability. All right, we'll do that. We'll hire a staff. So, oh, can we rename the staff? Hang on. Okay, not from this interface. Let's hire Claire. Yes! Okay, hiring staff. Now we're talking. So, this is going to be Shizma. Shizma the Aquarist, who's got um, fixing skills two. What's the pips here? Oh, is this priority? Oh, this is priority for very different jobs. Okay, we'll leave her at level one for both feeding and fixing, because she's good at both. Oh, we can define zones for staff. Oh, that's going to be really useful later on. Okay, we need a tool station available so that our staff can grab tools to repair some stuff. Um, hey, well, we'll keep it in one of these back rooms. It's going to be okay. A muscle dispenser. It's called a squat rack, my friends. And uh, combined science across all the animals. So, are fish worth science points? Oh, they are. Well, hold on. That's interesting. So, we have some fish in here. So, we have some tangs. Um, can I still see? Yeah, okay. We can still see that walk over here is a yellow tang. Uh, here we've got some Arabian blue line dotty backs. But, the only fish that we can purchase right now are the Royal Gramas over here, which are worth five science every time a visitor views this, and a Zebra Moray Eel. <laughs> I knew they, they could they could uh, make points, but um, the science one is new to me. These guys, are they worth any science? No. So these yellow tanks are worth ecology points. I think what we have to do is the new fish that we've got I think we need to make a new tank, and we're going to put it over here. And it's going to be filled with, like, science fish. So, new tank. I can't make a new tank. Oh. I'm not allowed right now. Well, this tank is empty. Okay. When the moon hits your eye, like a big pizza pie, that's a mori. Um, growth time. Increases one each day. That all requirements met. We'll grow to size nine after four days. Muscles. All right, we'll start with the grandma over here. So they're worth prestige and science, and they're three size each. They need normal temperature, 55% water quality, and they eat orange pellets. We're well set up for that. So we'll do this. So there, you can see there's their size three each. So we can put five in here. Boom. There we go. And this tank is worth 24 science every time someone views it. Oh, okay. Oh, so our target isn't based on the... Oh, we also don't have enough water quality anymore. I think we'll move some fish. Is this tank also empty? Yes, okay. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Um, You go there. Okay, the water quality is now fine here. Can we get a Mori to work in here? Let's try it. You just place your first Zebra Mori Eel. Zebra Mori starts out small, will grow larger over time. Grown up animals are worth more points. They'll only grow if you fulfill all their care requirements. Make sure there's enough space in the tank for them to grow into. However, the growth icon, see how many days it takes. Okay. So we'll just place the one. Now, the eel wants a bit of shelter. 
So we're going to go and um, a driftwood cave over here counts as three shelter. It only wants two, so we're more than good there. Um, water quality is not quite there, so we're going to throw an extra filter on here. Right there. Okay. Good. Oh, and we need to feed them zebra mussels. That's right. Or mussels. Boom. Muscle dispenser. Squat rack. Okay. So we have enough science. We can open. Done. Wall tanks. The aquarium is restocked and is open to the public once more. You may have noticed all the tanks at Northwood are embedded into walls. They're called, unimaginably, wall tanks. Wall tanks are viewed by guests from one side and access by staff from the other. It allows you to keep your equipment behind closed doors. Talking of doors, the staff doors allow your staff through while blocking guests. It's handy. All is useful because from rank 3, guests expect your equipment to be hidden away and they will complain otherwise. Oh, in the tutorial, I just had the stuff scattered all over the place. Your next objective is to build your own wall tank, matching specifications and objectives. So that's what we're going to use with this area over here. Um, so if I click here, an entrance. Aha! Brussels, or Belgian. National Aquarium. There. That's what we are. Uh, choose our next ecology project. Guys, do we want to research the coral grouper? Coral! Warning may eat or damage fish with size 2 or less, crustaceans with size 2 or less, or the flame angelfish. May eat or damage stony corals, clams, gorgonians. I'm pretty sure I saw a movie, um, like a Greek myth mythological movie, like Jason versus the Gorgonians. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, flame angel. A lot of people want the flame angel right away. You want me to lower the music a bit? Okay. But the rest of the sounds all right? Will do. There we go. Let's do that. So people are coming in, starting to view the fish. We're starting to earn ecology point from the viewership. Oh, our next science project. Power combi. Okay, so it's a more powerful combined filter plus heater. And then there's the basic pump. Pumping power can connect the tanks up to seven tiles away, up to one tank. Let's get the basic pump, because it's different from something we already have. Okay, right, so we need to make another aquarium over here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to end up... Um, I'm going to move this bench to give us a little bit more space. Corner observer tank. What's the deal? Oh, it sort of sticks out. It needs to be three by three. What is this? Capacity. Okay, let's build a corner tank. Like this. There we go. It's three by three. Um, so we need walls. Where are the walls? Oh, they're just up here. I'm gonna trap these people in here. Get out! Now, the staff door, do you put it on a wall? No, you put it in open space. Like that. You know what? We should just trap the people in here. Screw them! Here. I wanna see you starve to death, buddy. Zoom in, you can walk through your aquarium. Oh, what? Oh, that's cool! Oh, awesome! Hello! Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, I paused accidentally. There's our eel. Oh, it actually, it's got a little uh, shader effect on top of the water that adds the um, um, diffraction. Oh, there's a little staff person over there. Oh, I think... No, we renamed you. We need to have more than one staff, though. So if you zoom out... Oh, look at this! Oh, that's right. You can move the guests. I remember. David, get the hell out. Oh, also, you get thoughts. I've already seen the Royal Grama. I really like that Driftwood Cave. I really like the Half and Half Chromes. I like the Royal Grama. I like the Sea Lettuce. Okay. Um, any animal sufficient water quality? Right. So... We'll start with a combi. 
give it the basics. Oh, the temperature's not all the way with just this. I guess the tank's too big. Here, I'll just build a second combi. That's going to be fine. Um, oh, they unlocked a bunch of different fish now. What, more science or more ecology? I feel like we should do a soldier fish display because we don't have one yet. They don't like lights. They want caves. Eat orange pellets. I mean, we've got to build up our army, right? So we need a lot of soldier fish. What do you think? It's done. Next stage of the aquarium expansion is down to you. You'll need to fund the expansion using ticket sales. Keep an eye on your cash flow. It does well by clicking on current funds. Okay. Um, let's make sure to get... Uh, so they want a driftwood cave. I think I'll build two of them, actually. Because I think I'm going to want to put in more of these soldier fish. Now, are they the bullies? No, they're not the bullies. So we could do a little bit of a mix thing over here and that'd be perfectly fine. Um, because it's the, the king dem, uh, demoiselle, they're wimps. We don't have any bullies yet. There we go. A little bit of variety over here. You gotta... Uh, uh, you gotta make sure to build up to your fish power limits before you go to war. Absolutely. Alright, everything's looking group. I think we're gonna want more staff. Um, we got Shizma over here. So let's hire another staff. Um, who we are going to rename to... <laughs> this might be a little big. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Uh, can we paste? A rather fat Norseman. Done. Welcome to the aquarium. Okay, close all the windows. I keep hitting escape to try to close all the windows, but that's not the key bind for it. It's a little narrow here. I suppose I could have built it a little differently. I don't know. Um, oh, you want orange pellets. I mean, I think they can grab the orange pellets from anywhere, but uh, we're going to make sure... Yeah, right here is fine. We might want another toolbox. We got one there. I don't know. We'll see. Because, yeah, it looks like, yeah, this staff over here is bringing the orange pellets from the other room. But we'll go and get that set up so you, hopefully you don't have to walk quite as far. I suppose it might be a good idea to actually take this and move it closer to the door. No, nope, that's exactly what uh, Shizmo was looking for here. There you go, feeding some more orange pellets. We might still need more staff. Now, can I use the expansion tool now? Because it's like, you have to earn some stuff before you can grow, but I think we can. Yes, good. Okay. And I'm going to go and build them almost like, um, little rooms like this. I don't know exactly how I want to do it. Something like this. I don't know. And leave this wall section over here. Not sure yet. The bigger, so the way your prestige works, right, where it says well, um, earn whatever, is a little bit weird because okay, your prestige is going to drop as these people leave the aquarium. Because as they walk around, this took me a while. I actually got sort of stuck in the first scenario where like the last thing you have to do is just reach like seventy prestige or something, um, and I kept going up and then down. I couldn't figure out why. So. People accrue, like, look at this. This person just accrued a ton of prestige here um, from seeing all these things. Uh, ooh, the, the more eel looks stressed. Well, he hasn't been fed in a while, admittedly. Um, okay, Shizma's got it assigned, so someone's coming to do it. Um, and then when they leave, they take the prestige with them or something like that. So you got to keep more people in the aquarium for longer. You could remove those walls and use the staff room for the other side as well. Oh, that's true, yeah. Okay, we have unlocked a new fish. We'll unlock you. Right, over here. I like that. Alright, let's pause for a second. Uh, let's move Veronica. I wonder if you can abuse, like, some of the mechanics by, like, um, moving the guests so that it forces them to see some more stuff. So let's say we build another corner tank here. Like that. I like it. 
And then I will build a wall like this, and we'll put another staff door over there, which is under this section. Excellent. Um, and then, so our, what did we unlock? The angelfish? Flame angelfish. This likes conspecifics. Cannot be housed. Oh, they don't like themselves. You can't put two flame angelfish in the same tank. Really? Huh. All right, tell you what, we'll put another, uh, you. Death. Oh, water temperature's too low. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, the game's paused. Another moray. Um, and then we can just throw some extra fish in here, too. Although we gotta leave some room for the, the moray to grow. Um, so some of these guys want plant. Looks like the eelgrass is nice for three points of plant. Plus it's like called eelgrass, although it's not for the eel. Um, and then we want a driftwood cave so that the fish can go and hide and get some shelter. All right, and then we need to make sure we got plenty of pellets available. Green pellet dispenser. Muscle dispenser. And I will put a toolbox over here. Because there's a lot of stuff in this area. Like that. Alright. And let's hire another staffer. So we got level 2 feed. Okay, yeah. So we got a few different things. Um, you can prioritize feeding. I'm assuming that's how it works. Over cleaning. Because you're better at it. You prioritize fixing. If there's a job. Uh, where's our last staffer? I know there's a management screen, but... Oh, they're all in here. Can I not open... Oh, there it is. Uh, and you're kind of balanced. Actually, maybe you should prioritize cleaning, because no one else can clean right now. There, we'll do something like that. You should open a... I should open a gym and call it the Muscle Dispenser. That's a good idea. Uh, Vinny Pop, hey, thanks for the resub. Shift the tank to share the filter. Um, I think it would, there's still, like, a load limit here. So I think they would still have a hard time. Now... Is no one feeding the eels? No, people are doing it from time to time. Or just, are people are overworked. You only do fixing. So they have a ton of stats. Huh. And we don't have that many things breaking down. Okay, there we go. Did you get fed? Well, someone just went over there and did something. I like that you're having to sit on the bench. Really like that flame angel fish. Nice. Can you train staff to do other things? I don't know. What are the barrels? They're just decorative. They're worth some points, though. Alright, doing some fixing over here. Okay, that's all been fed. Yeah, okay, so we're all good and fed and caught up now. Excellent. Whoa, look at the prestige and a little bit of science there. Crushing it. We're at 108. Yeah, but see, it goes down a little bit. We'll have to build some more, but I don't wanna I wanna don't wanna go too fast and get confused. Did your sub die thought dancer? No no, there we go, you're good. Alright. Whew. <laughs> Shark in a chair. When am I gonna be in the aquarium? Wow. You should create a VIP prestige room where the guests can never leave. Yeah, I'd like I'm wondering if you could just do that and abuse the game. I guess we try. Oh I got mail! Oh! The zebra has grown! Nice. Eats more, lowers the water quality a bit more. Yeah, we'll have to track. We're keeping an eye out for these things. Oh yeah, I, should, I need to rename the newest staff. Um, she had the really pale hair. 
right here. Nope, not the tank. The staff. There we go. You're no longer going to be Isla. You are going to be Apex. Welcome. Make sure to check in at the uh, the time clock. Punch in. Okay. So we need we need more prestige, and to me that means more tanks. More tanks. More tanks. Okay. Stop tanks. Um. We'll go and we'll we'll grab that and expand it. We've got money. We're discovering new fish, so we'll get ready for that. Um, we'll do it like a different kind of setup. I kind of want this observer tank thing. Because it sort of sticks out. It's kind of cool. Super wide. Okay. Pause. Remove. Wall tank. Super wide that way. Oh, we'll need a bit of a gap for some machinery. So grab um, this guy. Is that you? Maybe we should research the powered whatever I'm gonna call it. It's gonna be fine. So I'll put a staff door there. Wall that. Okay. I might wait for this new fish to pop. Although, um, the angel fish are really cool, and you can only have one per tank. So let's do that and that. And then they want some greenery. And we'll use the eel grass because there's gives you a big Oh! I did this not the way I wanted. Um I'm wasting the viewing angle. Uh hold on a sec. I mean there's still a little bit of waste here, this could be in a corner tank. Um it's fine. I'm gonna line this up in the front of the tank. Just cause. Green pellets. Yay! Coral grouper! May eat or damage fish of size two or less. So it's quite big. I think the angel fish is pretty big. Oh, they're greedy. Okay, they don't like their own fish. Eat more and lower water quality more than other animals. They make me think of um, of my old uh, my old cichlid, my Oscar. What am I looking for? Um, green pellet dispensers. So, this angel fish is size three. So, it won't get eaten by the grouper. We need some shelters. And mussels. I'm going to put another toolbox in here. I don't know if there's maintenance on things like the tool things. I think this is like the maximum number of staff we can have. It's just the way it is. Um, so we're gonna rename Ulrika to a much better name. Punch Weasel. Now Punch Weasel it can only fix. So what we're gonna do is go to manage. We're gonna turn off Shizma's fixing. Or actually, we'll put feeding at the top. Leave feeding there. But you are going to prioritize feeding because Punch Weasel is going to be the primary fixer. Because that's all Punch Weasel does. Grouper will grow. He may eat other fish. Oh. He might start to have, like... 
He might eat fish bigger than size two. Hmm. So we got some tired guests here. Give me a little bench. I guess I can move this door back. Basic pumps unlocked. Power combi. See, I don't know the pumps. Pumping power. Can connect to tanks up to... Th so... What does it do, though? Does it clean water? Yes, it's a filter. It's a filter doesn't doesn't have to be adjacent to the tank. Does it also heat? Oh, okay. It heats and filters at the same time. From range. We got mail. <gasps> hey! We're growing. You can... Uh, the game's very moddable. The, the data is all in JSON form. Wow. Oh, putting a bench over there does sound good. Um. She just walked through the wall. Pumps. Okay. Time to learn about pumps. Pumps allow you to remotely locate your equipment away from the tanks. Instead of attaching your... Oh! Oh, I see! You attach on the pump, which lies several tiles away. Demonstrate your understanding of pump ability, pump, and tank configuration matching the statistics in your objective. Okay, I see. So, this is reporting to me these stats, but these stats are the ones provided by these two combis over here. 16 and 18. Yes, okay. So, the pump does nothing by itself. But it means if I took... You... And you, this would work exactly the same as before. Ah, <laughs> and we've now unlocked the Lagoon Tank, which is a glass all around. Oh, very exciting. Okay. Let's get a bunch of space here. I want lots of space. I don't know how big we can make a Lagoon Tank. But I want to make sure we've got plenty available. Boom. Okay. Now, I might be able to work it. Can things be connected to more than one thing? Like this combi filter. Let's say I get rid of this door. And replace it with just a wall. Which is probably a terrible idea. If I were to go and build a pump... Like that. Uh... Water quality is down here. That might be because just that just grew. Like, I don't know if this is sharing the load or not. No, it doesn't. Okay. So I think this filter... So we're not using this as part of this pump. I'm going to take you and move you here. And then another question is, if I go and put this here, what's it going to connect to? Oh, you get to choose. All right, that's good to know. Now... What I'm going to do is just attach it to that thing. And I'm going to do the pumping setup somewhere else. Or what I'll do is I'll probably just expand my staff room a little bit here. Like that. Build up the wall. Um, move this out of the way for a second. Oh, hang on. I'm going to take this pump. Move it here. Attach it that way. 
So you're fine now. Uh, temperature's probably gonna stay fine, I realize. I think more fish... So I keep using these combis, because it's convenient, but I think more fish doesn't require more temperature, just more filtration. So what we'll do is use a big heavy-duty filter over here to give this tank a crazy amount of filtration. Oh, it's deep! It's sunken down! Oh, that's so cool! Great, because you're looking down on the fish. Oh! All right, I love it. Now, we, uh, we're going to group her it up, baby. So, yeah. It still says it would eat fish. Where is it? Of size two or less. I wonder if that changes as this grows. Well, it's not going to eat the... Um, it's not going to eat the eel. Oh, it needs a ton more temperature. What? All right. Oops. To there. Man, oh man. Uh, we'll throw in an extra combi over here for the filtration as well. Oh, hey! Uh, one of your guests is thirsty. Build some vending machines. We will do that in just a moment. Please to be waiting. some rocks or some you need shelter Here, we'll overkill it a little because I'm gonna put an eel in there too okay we're gonna start with this I want a rock but we can fit more fish in here preparation for that. We're just going to go ahead and like add a bit more decor. I mean, they don't need it, but people like the prestige of seeing these um, these things as well. There you go. And it looks pretty. So someone's on their way to do some feeding. Um, yeah, the way I place this... Hang on. I wasn't leaving room for expansion here. I was trying to be fancy, and I sort of painted myself into a corner. There. If we do this, we'll be able to put another pump here as needed. Mm, yeah, we can put the staff door back over here. Absolutely right. All right, vending machines. Fizzy drinks. Oh, there's a huge radius. I guess this is, like... People from anywhere near here will go to it. We'll put one there, and we'll put one here. That seems to have pretty full coverage. When I go to an aquarium, rocks really hype me up. I know, right? You know why? Because they rock. I just realized I'm covering part of the UI here. Something like this. There we go. Is good, yeah? What happens if a fizzy drink gets dumped in a tank? Yeah, then, then we, like, throw people in jail. Um, so we're double pumping into this thing. Do I need another vending machine? Feels like we have pretty full coverage, but I don't know. Can the yellow fish be used in the big tank? Uh, yeah, I think I've, we can put more things in here. You're absolutely right. Um, it's size six, the yellow tang. That is true. You want yellow food, you want some plants. Perfect. Because, yeah, this can fit a lot of stuff. There we go. 
Um, you're going to need green food, but you can get green food from here, which is fine. I mean, we could put some green food dispensers over here, too. Uh, I'm going to grab you and just move you so that you don't look quite as dumb. New combi filters unlocked. Nice. There we go. There, looks a little less dumb. All right, feeding is happening. No more staff can be hired, right? No, okay. Oh, we want a third one for the quest! I'm like, we have full coverage. Mm. But there's a quest. There we go. Done. And now we just have to get more stars. We got some mail. Grouper's growing. Oh, yeah, so they can eat things up to size three. Amazing. Oh, dear! One of your guests has thrown their fizzy drink later on the ground. Build a broom stand and get one of your staff to clean it up. Put a broom stand here. Oh. You can reduce the amount of time your staff spends sweeping up after your guests by placing bins around your aquarium. Sounds great. It's horrible, disgusting people that make messes everywhere. We'll put them right next to the vending machine. It's always made a lot of sense to me. There you go. We got someone going around cleaning. So I guess the cleaning job isn't about cleaning um, fish tanks. It's about cleaning the floor and whatnot. Okay. Because cleaning, like, fish tanks can be a lot of work. Wow, look at all the prestige we're getting from this. Really like that zebra more ale. Black bar swordfish, the half and half chromies. Awesome. Better confiscate the sodas from all the guests now. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Kick the rude guests the hell out of there. Yeah, we need security guards. We got a lot of tired guests, but they're finding plenty of places to sit down, which is good. So, tanks... Water quality is exactly 65%, so we might not want to put more things in there. And actually, when the grouper grows, it might go down a little bit, too. So, we might need a bit more. Um, that being said, we do have a lot of room for fish. Now, we can't double up on the groupers. These yellow tangs are still really big. Do we have a, do we have a flamer in there? No, we don't have a flamer in there. So that's okay. Yeah, water quality went down, which is what I expected. So we're just going to throw a power filter right here. Boom. Ever played Roller Coaster Tycoon? Yes! Um, I played a lot of them. Um, I still... And it's probably Nostalgia Glasses, but the original theme park game was my favorite. We've just ranked up! Boom! Rank four! Which unlocks kelp. Ooh, kelp. Reaching 80 meters in height. Wow. Uh, rocky overhang. Larger shelter for cave-loving fish. Fox face rabbit fish. It's both a fox and a rabbit. A reef squirrel fish. Blue knuckle hermit crab. Oh, it's our first crustacean. Longhorn cowfish. Large filter. Large heater. Crabs and more. Congratulations on reaching rank four. Among the new animals you can unlock this rank are the first crustaceans. The blue... Hermit crab is a great support animal because it doesn't need feeding and actually provides additional filtering. Oh! You now have your uh, final objective. You can also receive uh, optional objectives from third parties in return for filling certain requirements. Law for your reward. It's completely up to you. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We will research, say, the large filter to start off with. I'm going to research the crab. Crusty crab. Scavenger does not contribute to buy a load of tank automatically fed when any other animal in tank is fed. They're just, they're just bottom feeders. Love it. Breaking news! Quill now has crabs, that's right. You know, at my merch store, I still have a shirt that says, Elizabeth gave me crabs, and all it cost me is five gold per turn. Rabbit fish would be so much more awesome if they were called mer bunnies. Row, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10! Uh, you can see how many fish you already have in the fish picker. Yes, I noticed that. The little, um, the times whatever. So we don't have any... Oh, no, we do. You have to mouse over. So we have no Azure Demoiselle. Uh, Demoiselle. 
they're only size two though, so they would be pretty eaten. We might be able to fit them in another tank somewhere. These are just Royal Gammas, which are fine. That's fine, too. Can't put them in with the more... Uh, what are these yellowfish? They're tangs, who are also fine. Excellent. So we never put the Zimodels. They can't be housed with a bully. Right, so that's another one where they could be put in here. This tank, I think, was fine. That might be it, though. We'd have to put another tank in there somewhere, but... Close all these windows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> Loler. <laughs> How many items can you place next to the filter? Eight, like, in the corners as well? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. If I put something here, would it contribute to this? I guess we should find out. So right now, we have, say, 126 filtering. So if we put a small filter there... Yeah, no, there's little arrows, so it's only uh, orthogonal connections. There's explicit little arrows. The more you know. We could hit Fat Forward here. I don't know if we're getting any more stars than we have. I think more expansion will be required. And I mean, unlocking more fish and everything. Remember to put some kelp in the big tank? Yeah, that's a good idea. Deep tank only. So that counts as a deep tank then. And it's worth more prestige. Oh, we got mail. We got lots of mail. Uh, autopsy report! Interested in some decorations. Oh! Build a tank with this. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Eaten by grouper, too. Whoops. Rocks help with, help with water quality? Really? That seems odd. Why would that be? Alright. Let's, um... Let's expand... Fairly aggressively. Yeah, it's not that expensive to expand. We want aggressive expansion, you guys. I mean, there might be a coalition that forms against us, but I think we can handle it. So we'll do this, and then what we'll do is... Build a bunch of walls. Because they're nice. <laughs> I'm going to build another lagoon tank. Because that sounds like fun. So. Where is the conch and the barrel and the anchor and the yada yada yada? Do we have to research it? Or do we just have it? Decoration delivery. Oh! Oh! Okay, hold on. There we go. Does it all have to be in the same tank? I mean, it's sort of implied. I don't know if it's true, but... If I place it all willy-nilly, it might be hard to place some of the other objects, but... Barrel right there. Okay. I'm impressed. When I look at that tank, I'm transported to another time. This morning, actually, when I found the pile of junk on the beach. Now that's art! There's plenty more where that came from. I'll supply you with as much as you need, subject to a small handling fee. I also have some paint available, which you can use to decorate your walls, floors, tanks. Find that on the decoration center section of the build menu. Alright, well, that sounds very exciting. Beach paint. Okay, there we go. Now we've unlocked all this stuff. Ooh, you get a lot of um, prestige from these things. We might want to put a few more in a few tanks. It looks like painting's free. Yeah, but... It's ugly. Okay, there we go. Whew. Um, right, so, fish. I feel bad that that angel fish ate, got eaten. I mean, we still have plenty of them. We'll make another type of tank here. Lots of demoiselles. Some of those. Some 
of those. Okay. Then... We'll start with the power combi. Oh, we gotta put down the pump first. Fair enough. Need some greenery. Cup, 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 cup. Excellent. And I'm gonna put another staff door. So I need to bulldoze this first, and then put down a staff door right here. A couple of benches, and we'll put a drinks machine. I'll put a drink machine against the wall and then put a bin in between the two branches. Okay. Does Quill have enough toilets to flush all the fish? The fish mostly get eaten by each other, so, you know, we're fine. Now the angelfish is in heaven. Ha ha ha! That poor angelfish. Oh, you got mail! I have talent. Oh, that's the same one. Oh, I have an old message I never read about a grouper growing. You know, if the fish eat each other, then we can save uh, money on food, right? Man, this tank is filled to the brim. Look at, look. Oh yeah, it's, I forgot I could walk around. Oh my god. But yeah, this tank is filled right to the brim. Also, I can like, there's no clipping, which is good because then you can like go around your your place faster. I wish there was a run button. Holding shift actually stops me from moving. And I pause the game by doing something. Oh, it's because we got a pop-up. Oh, <gasps> we got our hermit crabs. Yes. Crustacean. Avoid placing a tank. Placing with tank mates, which are a danger to crustacean. Uh-huh. Let's get the uh, fox face um, mer bunny started. Now, this tank is perfectly fine, I think, for the hermit crabs. Ooh, water quality took a bit of a dive. But that's okay. Because, yeah, it needs a quality of 70. It's very demanding on water quality. But we're okay because I can put... I'll put a power filter right here. Just like... That didn't do it, didn't it? Really? Okay, hold on. I'll trash you. Uh, wait, hold on. Um, that's what I'll do. It's actually this... This heater I will trash. So I can do this. And then still fit in a power pump right here. Although people can't reach there, but we can put a little door if something breaks down so that this can be reached. So I can bulldoze that and I just put in a little staff door. Hopefully that... Uh, actually, I did that wrong. Um, bowl those. Move the staff door to there. Rebuild the wall. Okay. Alright, yeah, you're fine now. Now we've unlocked the large filter. And we'll work on the large heater as well. Man, I have a lot of prestige left to be gotten. If it was blocked, you'd see a red cross. That's true. So, But how could that not have been blocked? So what we can do is we can add more, maybe, decorations that give prestige. Make sure there's a variety in every tank. We can build another tank over here. Oh yeah, spread the crabs everywhere. Well, Hang on a sec, that sounds dirty. Um, the other thing I can do is spread these decorations everywhere. I'm going to start with this. Not an anchor in literally your tank. We're going we're gonna to shake it up a bit. Some conch shells. Uh, the 
shell shell. There we go. Rename one of your crabs to Krusty. Far left, missing a wall. Oh, right! And we're losing our uh, prestige there. Because I was, I was planning expansion and stuff. Uh, we're going to leave extra room for more filter stuff. And yeah, we've got to um, move these people out of here. And oh, I will build a new staff door. Right here. Pick next research. More fish! Is there any reason we couldn't build a corner aquarium right here? I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Fairly space efficient. Crab. Uh, what did we just unlock? The fox face, whatever they're going to call it. Where is it? Oh, right here. They're both under surgeon fish. Dislikes food competitors. Cannot be housed with other species that eat green pellets. Okay. That's fine. The crab doesn't eat green pellets. And we could throw in a fish that eats orange pellets. Like, maybe these dotty backs. Alright, so that brings us to our tank capacity. Now, we need temperature... We need water. We don't need a pump for this, though. Let's start with a large combi. That actually overshot the temperature by quite a bit. So we met the filtering requirements, but the water quality is still poor. It's interesting. So we'll just throw a large filter in here. That might be overkill. All right. But it's not that much overkill, so I guess that's fine. Um, we'll decorate this. All right, I can't tell because it's not a deep tank. Keep hitting the wrong button. There we are. Um, here, another anchor. Just fill the tank with crap. Hey, large heaters unlocked. That's the last of our science. Oh, we're almost accumulating on that prestige. We may still have to build another tank over here to put us over the top, but we're close. Uh, we could do some benches and things over here. Oh, these people are thirsty. There you go. dipped a little, but big old tank. Oh, we got it! Hey! You've accomplished a lot here at Northwoods. When you arrived, it was dilapidated. Um, that means all the hair was removed. Um, you restocked it, reinvested your profits, and transformed it into an impressive aquarium you see before you. Another job offer has come in, this time for a private collector in Elmshorn looking for an architect to design their dream aquarium. You could continue to build here at Northwoods for as long as you want, um, or we could go to a new challenge. It's two-point hospital fishing version. Ah! You can test to see if the rocks make different differences in water quality. It does make a difference in real life, and others suggested work here, too. Uh, we'll take a little look. We'll go here. We'll dabble with this. I don't know if we're going to play through this one. Private Collector wants to build a new public aquarium from scratch. They want you to be the architect. They've already installed a large tank to be the centerpiece of the aquarium. The rest, it's not actually the centerpiece, it's the front piece. I'm going to fill your animals' cares there. Okay, so right now, water quality is 100%. If we throw a random fish in here, they actually, these guys want a school of four. Quality is 74%. If we go and throw some small rocks in here, because what's the symbol? Yeah, filter power! You're right, the rocks do actually give you filtration. So what's the reasoning with the rocks? Is it just like a chemical reaction? 
Is it a good place for algae to grow on? And therefore, because that, that's a filtering thing. Because I mean, I have, I, have a, I have a fish tank upstairs. Um, so I could have just added more rocks to increase. Right, because we didn't need more pumping power. Well, I mean, this is filter power. So like, we can literally, oh, it's got, it's all set up in the back with a dual combi and everything. Ah. Microbes and spaces and rocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's the thing, the fish tank is like, if you get a brand new fish tank, and you fill it with water, you know, filtered on chlorinated water and everything, and put your fish in, your fish are gonna have a really hard time at first. Oh my God, it's Snoopy the Red Baron. One second, Snoopy. I'll finish talking about fish um, ecology here. Um, you really, really want to go super light on your initial fish load, because you need to start the cycle of you feed them, and some of it decays and turns into like nitrates and nitrites. There's this whole cycle, and the fish poop, and that's a whole other part of it. And then uh, bacteria and algae and stuff will start to get established in the tank. And it's as they get established, you keep sort of increasing the bio load and it keeps sort of like processing and filtering and, and doing all that. And actually, if you throw in plants, um, they can really soak up a lot of that. You gotta be careful with plants because any plants that sort of die off or, you know, leaves turn brown or anything like that, that adds a whole bunch of like nitrates, nitrites, ammonium, all those kinds of things that will kill your fish. So you gotta make sure, you know, Keep your plants healthy and, and pick away any parts of the plant that have died. But you can get like a really good, strong, just little ecosystem going there. Especially a larger tank that's got big um, surface area, so you get a lot of oxygenation that goes that way. Even without like bubble filters and stuff, which you should still have and you'll still need. But a lot of it will just happen through the surface, so it's quite cool. Rocks and wood in real life also affect the pH level in tanks. Yeah. So I was sort of forced to learn about fish a long time ago. I had a co-worker. Um, this is like a long time ago, a couple of jobs ago, um, that kept a lot of fish in her house. And we used to, we used to carpool to work. She lived nearby and she would tell me about these fish and everything like that. And one year for my birthday, she gave me a fish tank, a little small two gallon one. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. Um, and I still didn't really know that much. And I went to a, I went to a pet store and I told the, the shop person, you know, like what I had and things. Um, and you know, could you help me pick out some fish? And I was looking around and I saw a fish that was really cool. It was like paying a lot of attention as I was coming and by. I thought he had a lot of personality. So I said, I said, you know, shopkeeper, I would like that. And the shopkeeper knew what I had set up, my two gallon tank. So um, I take this fish home and I set it up in there and then I sit down and I, I look it up on the, on, on the internet. This is, this is before we had like smartphones where I could, I could just Google the information live. Um, and it turns out that this fish I had was an Oscar, a cichlid, um, which grows to be massive, poops like mad, makes a huge mess. You bet you need a 55 gallon tank just for this one fish, period. It's like, so now I have a 55 gallon fish tank. Now, this fish passed away years and years ago, because again, this was, a, this was a, a fairly long time ago. Um, but now we still have this big fish tank. Now we've got little fish to run around in there and stuff like that. Yeah, most people in fish stores are idiots. Yeah, clearly, because there should have been a giant warning of don't buy this fish. Like, because honestly, if you were an average person, if this was an average person coming in, buying an Oscar for a two gallon tank, they're just gonna end up killing the fish. I felt responsible for this fish. I was like, I now own this fish. I now have to bite the bullet and buy a giant goddamn fish tank. <laughs> I'm gonna set a metric. Gallons, you get what? It's four liters in a gallon? No, eight liters, right? Because a, a liter is about a pint. There's, no, yeah, a liter is about a pint. There's two pints to a quart, four quarts to a gallon. So I think it's eight liters in a gallon about. So 200, no, times eight, 400 liter tank. Does that make sense? One of you guys will know it. Oh, is a liter about a quart then? Okay. I mean, I don't know Imperial very well. So I was just sort of trying to base it. So it's a 400, it's a 200 liter tank. Pint is half a liter. Right, because a pint is a pound and a pound is a half a kilogram. Okay, I'm there now. <laughs> yes. So yeah, about about a, a 200 liter tank. I mean, it's not massive, massive, like, like people, standards of people who have big ass aquariums, but it's a pretty big tank to people otherwise. You come into the house and you see it and you don't have like fish at home, you're like, damn, that's a big freaking tank. What's the pound to the euro? <laughs> yeah, so my, um, what was his name? 
right. His name was Otto von Oscar, which is slightly confusing because there's a fish called an Otto. Um, so he was Otto von Oscar, and he did. I did have a second fish in a tank um, because Oscars make a big mess. Uh, it was recommended that you pair them with a, a Placostomus, sort of bottom-feeding fish. So that was, uh, and I think they look like, they look cool. They look sort of like, they got like, they don't have conventional scales. They got like almost like armored skin. Um, and also, Oscars will like eat everything, basically. They have teeth, um, as it turns out. So you can't put them in a tank with a lot of other fish. But the the Oscar, the, the, the Plecos are sort of bottom-feeding, and they're armored, and they stay out of the way, and it's fine. Um, and that was Placostomus Rex was his name, because I feel, felt like he looked like a prehistoric sort of beast. So yes, uh, Snoopy, the Red Baron, coming in with the, uh, the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund contribution. Thank you very much. Happy two years sub anniversary to me. Oh my gosh, Snoopy. Thank you for two years of great entertainment. Uh, Quill, you're my favorite streamer by far. Well, thank you very much, Snoopy. I really appreciate it. I feel like I've been, I've been dropping um, the the ball, dropping the ball a little bit lately with, with some things and just, I don't know, not, I've been feeling not great about a lot of things lately. So I really appreciate the continued support. Thank you very much. I'm trying to get better, I'm trying to fix myself. And hopefully we'll get there again. Fish are prehistoric, haven't changed in many ways since they evolved. I mean, they work, right? That's the thing. Does this animal work? Yes, well then it's good. Evolution doesn't have a goal other than this thing survived to make babies and this other thing didn't survive to make babies. That's literally it. My friend had a fish that died of shame. <laughs> All right, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it up here because I don't think we have time. It's kind of funny how the walls go up and down. I wasn't really noticing it before with the solid blue, but I'm noticing it with these. I, I feel like this is a solid quality game. Um, I, I mean, I haven't played too far. There's a sandbox mode. I should, so we should note a couple of things. If we go back to the main menu. No, that actually quit the game. It's funny how bright the screen is when I'm out of the game. Let me, let me restart that. Um, there's a sandbox mode. So there's this campaign leading you through a variety of things. There's also a pure sandbox mode. Oh, was there just a new game button there? Yeah, but I, I'm not even sure that was how that button where we want to be. This load screen looks very early access. I know it's like chunky. <laughs> uh, right now. This load screen feels a little early Actually, it also reminds me of, um, uh, Kerbal Space, Pro Space Program's load screen, which, yes, we have to do some more. I, I'm starting to finally get a plan. I finally got, like, a goal again. I'm like, oh, you know what would be fun? If things. So, you've got these campaigns that you unlock, but then there's a sandbox mode over here. Um, you can start at different ranks. Ranks determine your, uh, what stuff is unlocked. So, if you want to, like, start with basically, like, listen, I want to start with, like, everything available or something like that. You can just do it. You know, standard, quick start, so higher rank, limited supply. So that's interesting. So presumably, I don't know what this implies. I don't know if this makes it so that not all fish types are available or if there's literally a limited amount of fish available at any given time. So you might not always just be able to buy what you want. I like that there's like a seed here that you can sort of share with things. That's kind of neat. And then there's just the difficulty. I mean, if we started with everything of it, I'm curious. Randomize availability. If we started with this, I'm just curious to see what it would tell us about our fish and availability. So lots of this, one of the things, it looks like the developer is still working on this. There's been updates and patches and things. Um, Asking people what other stuff they'd like to see in there. What's a protein skimmer? Protein skimming power helps achieve higher water quality. Also, as a byproduct, you can package the skimmed protein and sell it to bodybuilders. Mm hmm. Nitrate extractor, UV sterilizer, <laughs> mega double filter, large triple filter, chillers. Oh! For fish, oh, for cold water tanks. Oh, how interesting. And you've got these lights here because some plants want the lights, although some fish want it dark. Calcium reactor. Oh, is this for coral? Coral. Decreases the number of days it takes for coral to grow by 30%. Oh, oh.
Okay, so there's something with the limited availability. I think it changed which fish were available. So for example, we, the, uh, the eel we had before, what was it like the coral eel or something like that? Isn't in the list. So hold on, if I go, new game, sandbox, everything available and not randomized availability. Is this a shark? Oh my god! Needs rounded tanks! Constantly move, so you need a tank with rounded edges so it doesn't get stuck in the corners. Sea rays! Maybe that was already there. Schooling fish, because there's still just the one eel. Instatially greedy green moray has poor eyesight and two sets of teeth. One in the mouth and one in the throat. Aquarist, watch your fingers. Lobsters? <gasps> Soft coral, stony corals. I'm still confused though. Didn't we have a different type of eel that isn't in the list here? Even with everything available, you still have to research some fish. Oh! Oh! Well, that's actually quite cool. So all the fish will be available, but you don't start with them all. So, um, just, I just wanted to start the research screen for us. Uh, so let's do this. I'll just, I don't know, open the tank? I don't know. U tanks, corner tanks, deep outcrop tank, Belfast tank with round corners, small tunnel tank. <gasps> oh! Oh, that's so cool! Look, people will be able to walk through here! Oh, that's so awesome! And I think, yeah, we need platforms because it's such a tall wall. This is where these platforms I noticed come in. You do that and then put stairs so that your staff can reach them or something to feed them. Oh my God. Oh, it's not rounded corners. They're gonna fill it with, with sharks. There's more symbols here. What is this? Active swimmer requires a tank with a size 24 or more. Skill required. Feeding this will be time consuming for staff without some skill. Rock lover, wimp. This animal eats Artemia. Wait, there's like more food types? Oh my god! Wait, sand eel dispenser? Like, something eats sand eels, cockles, zooplankton, artemia. Oh, this gets complicated. I love it. Bench massage chairs. Oh, yeah. OJ sque squeezer, coffee machine, chocolate vending machine. Toilets. Podiums. Oh, right, because you can run, like, classes and stuff. Gives your sp your staff a place to stand when you're giving information and entertaining talks to guests. But also need a mic headset. A balloon shelf. Shark hat shelf. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. It's one of those hats. It looks like a shark's eating your head. Um, cancel. Zoom in so you can walk around. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you can walk through here. And look at your fish! Alright, this game has my vote. I love it. I gotta get a kiss for luck to play this game. Right? Time to mod in a whiskey vending machine. And yeah, people were saying it's super moddable because everything is just like JSON files and stuff. Yeah, whiskey machine uh, mod. I wonder... Is there workshop integration? Looks like no. But I'm willing to bet... I mean, either it's coming which it may, or they'll, people will organize like download sites for this. Tycoon games that were moddable were always like a huge thing. Sorry I left you guys with like a really crappy view there. My bad. There you go. Um, wow. All right, so everyone's gonna die. That's fine. There we go, ecology project. So yes, there is stuff to research. Oh my God. Oh, there's all the old ranks. Oh my God. Okay, so there's everything we'd started off unlocked because of our high rank. So I guess there's some stuff you earn. You unlock some fish just by being a high rank. And some fish you research by researching. So this is the rank two research fish. Whoops. Rank three. There's our zebra mora eel. Moon jellies. Oh my god. Turbot. More stingrays. More sharks. Red leg hermit crab. Oh, there we go. We played the uh, the song from Little Mermaid at the start of the stream. That, that's your Sebastian right there. 
Oh my. And is it going to give us a science project? Probably if we had fish in here that gave us any science points. I mean, they're all going to die because I'm not, like, taking care of them. But we need some... Oh, they're carrying their, their, their fish hats. They're not wearing them. Oh, it looks like, um... It looks like there's a glitch here. It's not positioned on top of their heads like it should be. Okay, someone generate some science before my fish die. Oh, they view it up here! Oh, neat! Okay, I'm not sure. It's possible that we have unlocked everything here and that, like, we don't need the science research. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to put a cut in here. Oh, there we go. Research project. So there is more research to be done as well. Looks like most of it has been unlocked. It's just the rank 12 stuff hasn't in this case. Auto feeders. Mega pumps. Mega tank. Has a capacity of 448. Rounded corners and everything, so it can be a big fish tank. Excellent. Not a glitch. I think they carried their sodas the same way in the last level. Yeah, but I mean, you'd, you'd want the hat to be positioned here instead of being carried. Anyway, that was just, yeah, that was testing out sandbox mode. We did some campaign stuff. How much is this selling for? Again, of course, I got a code for free <laughs> because I have the best job in the world. <sighs> um... $28.99 Canadian. Okay, so that's not even that expensive. I'm pretty impressed. And yeah, it says game similar to games you've played. Two Point Hospital, Machinki. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. I buy that. What's two point sell for? 42 bucks. Uh and Machinki is probably pretty cheap too. Early access game, $27.99. Yeah! I, pretty good. I think I was pretty successful. Let's try. I was pretty happy with that. Da, da, da. Have you, okay, yes, I've seen Star Control Origins. I haven't played it yet. I think that's going to have to be a thing, though. Like, mmm. But buy this on the Switch in a heartbeat. That's a good point, actually. I think there's no reason you couldn't use, um, you couldn't use Switch controls on that. I mean, shoot, if they could make City Skylines with Switch controls and have it be perfectly fine and comfortable, someone could do that with uh, Mega Aquarium. I think it was lovely. I'm going to see if I can convince a kiss for luck to, to get this, or I'll get the developer maybe to send me an extra key uh, so I can ship it off to her, because I would love to watch her play. Okay, so that's going to be wrapping up Mega Aquarium. What we're going to do now is we're going to load up our factorial game and continue working on our Lazy Bastard achievement. Have you played Thea the Awakening? I have not. Oh, that's right! This was made by the same dude who made Big Pharma. Yes. Now, Big Pharma was interesting. Definitely worth checking out. If you like sort of... Don't be full. Big Pharma, in my opinion, looks like a tycoon game, but isn't truly. It has a few elements of that, but what it mostly is is sort of a puzzle game. Because you're trying to lay out the processes for building stuff um, in a limited amount of space and having to chain things to make the, uh, the, the various drugs and things like that. It's really interesting. Um, but to me, I think I'm going to like Mega Aquarium a lot more than I ever like Big Pharma. I think so. All right, let me put a little cut in here for, for the Yub Tubs. Bye, Yub Tubs! <laughs>